early outsourcing was largely limited to business functions like marketing, sales, human resource and tech support. But what about the companies that outsource their core functions like manufacturing? What are its effects and how does it spill over? In this episode of Research Bites, we are joined by Professor Madhu Vishwanathan to discuss his research on the impact of core component outsourcing. So one of the questions that C-suite execs in high-tech firms grapple with is whether to outsource or not outsource their core component. And a big factor that is underlying their decision is the trade-offs that they face. Now, outsourcing can reduce potentially reduce costs of manufacturing, but at the same time you might lose tacit knowledge that you have which can help you create you know high-tech products. For these executives Two questions arise. Do we want to be on the tech frontier and provide these high quality high end products or do we want to be a value proposition and lower the costs for consumers? When you're faced with these trade-offs, how do firms act? How do firms reconcile these trade-offs and nobody in outsourcing literature in the past had been able to do that. So from a contribution perspective, one was definitely the impact of outsourcing on consumer demand, especially in situations where the impact of outsourcing is not clear to the consumers in the first place one of the challenges was to get data on all these aspects the other challenge was to be able to bring them together to answer the big picture to solve this professor madhu along with his team devised an economic model that brought together these trade offs into play and to build this framework they looked into the unique data of lcd tv manufacturers for most of the tvs that were made we were able to identify you know whether they were made in house or they were procured from somebody else even there we had dimensions on you know whether it was just the core component whether it was the design so we had very detailed data at the product level on sourcing as well as on sales and that allowed us to build this model which will tell you where would firms now be positioned as would they be the cheaper brand would they be the tech leaders and how does it affect them and now we in our research try to answer these question by focusing on three effects that we think are essentially important to driving consumer demand the first one is of course the efficiency effect and that's a pure cost effect right once you outsource you could lower your costs and so we call we call that an efficiency effect so you're getting better at making these things the second thing we call or talk about is the aura effect now the aura effect is more like a spillover effect and it happens especially in tech products or products where consumers have some uncertainty about the quality of the product and so they look for some signals of quality and then the third effect essentially captures the other important dimension we were talking about which is the strategic effect which is the impact of competition like how does competition affect the impact of outsourcing on cost and on uh, technology frontier because the big thing that happens is remember even though you get costs you have to translate that into prices and competition affects how much of these costs get transferred as prices uh, likewise on the innovation frontier and then our results essentially show that just outsourcing for all firms would essentially lead to an increase in quantity sold decrease in prices and a drop on the technology front remember that there are these forces that are at interplay with each other what ends up happening is different firms feel the effects differently so the efficiency effect ends up being 18 roughly around 18% for everybody but when it comes to the aura effect and a strategic effect these start having differences so firms which are at the forefront or at the technology frontier or which are essentially value providers at the bottom of the technology ladder where their value proposition is all price end up doing better with outsourcing the ones in the middle end up losing because they are just not able to compensate for the drop in the aura effect with an increase in consumer demand that happens by decreasing price Apple this week becoming the latest computer maker to introduce machines that don't use Intel based chips. Apple has become the only computer company in the world to design and manufacture its own processors. And I think part of the goal of bringing the chip ecosystem back into their setup 
is to show that they are again the leaders on the tech frontier. So the loss from being a tech leader affects them more than just the value proposition they're giving through price. So I think competition is one big factor. I think one of the main reasons why we were able to do things that we were not able to do in the past, right, is because of the use of models and unique data. Firms should start employing them to answer questions for which they already thought they had answers to. While the model itself was built on data from 2003, the team was able to use it to simulate the effects of the Sony and Samsung merger that happened in 2008. The goal was to see how well their model could predict what would happen beyond the scope of their actual data. And what our model essentially shows is that, uh, you know, it is not going to be a profitable merger. Here is one more reason why you should not have done this in the first place. So the objective at the end of the day, what we come up with is a toolkit that helps you to combine all these three forces at play and come up with an answer to should you outsource or not given the industry you are. So while the research paper focused on LCD TVs, these findings can be generalized for a lot of other industries where the impact for consumers from outsourcing is not direct. You can also think in terms of healthcare services. In fact, uh, we have other work which looks at outsourcing of clinical services uh, in the same space and how that could be affected by the outsourcing of uh, these products and how do consumers uh, essentially get impacted.